and I'm still drawing in an anime fashion, but you can see I'm getting a little bit better. Okay, so I picked up a prom magazine and I went through and I put myself and my friends in all these prom dresses because I really wanted to learn how to draw dresses. So I would draw the models because I wanted to start focusing on body proportion. So I was looking at references, but I was putting my own like twist to it by adding my friends. So this is my friend Allie. This was a history lesson. <laughs> Meet the isms! You know, it's all the political branches. So you got conservative, reactionary, centrist, liberal, radical, and then you have my friends and isms. <laughs> See how I started to put my friends in, but I started shading, and that's Sue Ann. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, we have Daffodil, and you can see the folds in this dress. And then there's my friend Brittany, and once again, kind of a little bit of, I see a lot of highlights that I was trying to do, if you can see the erase marks. Oh, here's a really pretty one. That's C. I just wanted to get better at shading and folds. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I did not like him at all. Whoa, her chest is super long. I can tell I really messed up on this one, but I love the skirt. Yikes, this is really messed up. Oh, that's pretty. I tried putting anime eyes on my dogs. Oh, goodness. Eh, what's happening? Oh, if you let it go and if it loves you, it will come back to you. I'm waiting for it to come back though. Oh, and you can see I started to put folds into my own dresses. I don't know. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I think I redid this one. That's really pretty. Uh, I don't know who that is. I think she's a pirate. Yep, she's a pirate, and that's really cool. Oh, tattoo! I can't, I can't waste time to give him the moment. I realize nothing's broken. Oh, okay, I know this tattoo, but I don't understand what's going on with this outfit. <laughs> Look at rain boots. I love that it is proportionate, so copying the models and um, from the prom magazine and the dresses actually did help. All right, what's going on? Oh, I don't know what's going on. Why are these all bent? Oh, wow, that's cool. So she dances. Another, once again. Oh, this is weird. What is happening? Ah, <laughs> oh, puppies. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Silence, look at that entangle work though. That's kind of cool, I love this entangle work, but that is really unproportionate. That's weird too. I think I know who that is, but I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> I know who he is. Oh, across the universe. Oh my. What is, that is scary. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoa, look at that, that Disney attempt. Yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. The bird looks awesome. What the heck is that? <laughs> Giselle. Oh my goodness. This is just, he looks like, oh my gosh, he looks like Donald Trump. <laughs> what is happening here? He's got a puppet. <laughs> Woo, those are cool fairy wings. Alrighty then, so let's go ahead and talk about this, which I chose right here which is a fire fairy. And after looking at it, going through, this is the one I'm going to choose to go ahead and recreate. I remember what inspired these, this fairy by, because I don't know about you guys, but I used to collect fairy figurines and I just wanted to be a fairy. I really wanted to be a fairy. I think I would choose being a fairy over a mermaid or a princess any day. I don't know. Well, what would you guys choose? Leave in the comments down below. Would you be a fairy, mermaid, or princess? Or if you're a boy, would you prefer to be a superhero, a prince, or a flamp, a flamp, I can't even say it. <laughs> a really rich dude. <laughs> so leave in the comments down below what you would rather be. <laughs> but anyways, so, I used to collect these fairy figurines and I think they were called Fairy Glen. I think that was the brand. And there was this place I used to go to in Michigan and every year I would buy a fairy figurine to the point that it was about 
10 figurines that I had and I just kept getting them for my Christmas presents or my birthday presents and I just kept getting them and getting them and there were these fairies that were the elements so I really do remember that this fairy that the one I drew the wings were inspired by the fairy figurine that I had that was a part of the element collection so the wings look like that so she doesn't look like some raging demonic power of death I don't know I just didn't really want to do that and at this point after I put I saw that I like the lip color I wanted to say oh maybe she should have red lips so I was just already using the red so I put it on her lips and I thought wow she's gonna look like to look like some kind of demon of hell or something I gotta change this around to make it look nice so when I'm looking at my old picture of this drawing I saw that the ruffles at the bottom of their dress I don't know just looking at them they reminded me of a colonial gown and then I chose to use oranges and yellows and that gave it kind of a bell vibe so when you get to the dress part and you see that a little bit more um I switched up the gloves a little and instead of putting the flower on her hip I put a jewel and then maybe like a feather hair piece up in her hair to kind of match the jewel to maybe that's where she gets her power from. I actually used to create these comics based off of these um, element fairies and unicorns <laughs> and they were just a lot of fun and you can see a lot of that if you go through a lot of my old sketchbooks um, since this is the fourth of this five part series that I'm doing of redrawing, um, I will try to show that where I have the unicorns that are the different elements. I don't know about you guys, but still to this day, dress folds are just a little bit difficult for me. And I try to practice more and more, especially on people, with, whether it be on men, especially if they have muscular torsos, then I really try to get them folds in all over the, the shirt on the man's shirt. And I try to figure that out. It's just really difficult for me with clothing to get that those kind of folds right and I look at so many other artists and they do clothing so well and I can't even look at fashion designers because I just I, they're amazing the fashion designers and their sketches of clothing I mean some of them might be a little bit abstract but at the same time they're just perfect and I just wish I was a little bit better at folds and clothing and I think the best way to practice that is by hanging up a curtain maybe and throwing some lights on it or drawing the, your curtains that are in your living room window or going ahead and draping a cloth over something and just drawing from life because I do remember doing a lot of that in college when I was trying to do two majors at once which is not a good idea um, I was trying to be an art major and I was trying to be a theater major at the same time but um, with my art classes it was just a little it was a little difficult but I remember in the few classes that I took for art it was um, it was interesting to draw the, how much they encouraged drawing from life and to use cloths or dresses and drape them over stuff so we could get those folds and by adding light and shadows into the folds and how they really stress that upon us and I think that is the best way to teach yourself how to draw those kinds of things when it comes to clothing so um or picking out a prom magazine and copying from it because that's really what jump started all the folds of my earlier dresses that were on my doodles but yeah just practice makes perfect but yes guys i hope you enjoyed this little remake friday i hope you all have the most wonderful day thank you for watching and we'll do one last remake video for, for friday have a most wonderful day